Headquarter Announcement Number Two Zero Two Zero Zero One Zero Six. It is brazen and outrageous evil. There are two evil behaviors incidents that all Buddhists must not emulate. Otherwise, you will be ruined for life. These unethical behaviors inherently deviate from the Dharma teaching of the primary mind essence of the supreme and unsurpassed Mahamudra of liberation imparted by Namo Dorje Chan Buddha the Third. The first issue. An article was published on the Weixing public account Lenyan Channel titled "If Abstaining from Killing: How to Manage Pest Control Such as Mosquitoes and Flies." The article suggests that homeowners can besiege Buddha and Bodhisattva to eliminate pests. Wait for three days. And if the pests are still there, homeowners can take any measure to stop them. Therefore, homeowners can use, for example, insecticides to kill bugs. This horrendous suggestion violates the most rudimentary Buddhist code of ethics established by Shakyamuni Buddha. Buddhists should be rooted in compassion. And treat all sentient beings as equals. A blatant massacre of living beings is a deadly sin, destined for the Avicii hell. Suppose you notify Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, move out, or I will kill you in three days. How would you feel? Does it sound right to you? Are you still a Buddhist? There isn't a trace of Bodhicitta in this kind of people. Concurrently, that all beings are equal means just that, despite their sizes. If you have any pernicious desire to kill other living beings, you are not a Buddhist but a demonic person. With your evil nature, what qualifies you to besiege Buddhas and Bodhisattvas to remove the pests? Have you accumulated enough merits for Buddhas and Bodhisattvas to grant you any wish? Therefore, it is an evil and malicious article. All Buddhists must not follow its suggestions to avoid the three lower realms of samsara. It is essential to read the definitive tenets imparted by Buddha for details. Otherwise. Any diligent effort to practice Buddha's divine dharmas will be futile. Perhaps a murderer like you, who has rotten roots of wisdom, does not even deserve the definitive tenets. The second issue: many people continue reciting the Shringama mantra even after learning the indeterminate nature of its authenticity with various versions. Continuous reciting is extremely heretic. These people falsely justify that by saying, since there is no adjudication on Shringama Mantra, there must not be a problem. Let us use medical drugs as an analogy. Suppose a preliminary report by medical experts shows that only one is safe among ten drugs. But they are yet to identify which one. In this case, without a doubt, people should immediately stop taking these drugs until the final report is released. Otherwise, people may encounter dangerous drug toxicity, which can bear deadly consequences. Therefore, before a Buddhist text can be adjudicated as correct or erroneous. If a Buddhist disregards the warning and insists on practicing it, this person, in fact, deliberately violates the regulations stipulated in the fundamental holy precepts. Violators will not receive the inner tendric initiation because the dependent origination is ceased for the following reasons.
This person is foolish and asni, commits evil doing, and practices both correct and heretical dharmas concurrently. It is a grave mistake to think that it is all right to practice non-adjudicated dharma. By practicing heresy, you sow the seeds of evil and reap the fruit of sinful karma. In essence, practicing heretical dharma leads to developing demonic nature. It is causality. All Buddhists must pay particular attention to any pernicious talks that encourage mixing the learning of the Shurangama mantra. Don't be fooled. Currently, this advice does not concern other Buddhist texts. World Buddhism Association headquarters, August 19, 2020.